guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a sit down video which I feel like I haven't done in forever but today I'm going to be talking about physical therapy school essentials and this video was actually requested by one of you guys in the comment section of one of my latest videos and I thought it would be perfect to film because it's currently March and I know that's when a lot of physical therapy school decisions come out so a lot of you guys are probably being accepted into programs so congratulations I'm so excited for you that is so amazing but I thought this video would be good because you're probably wondering what the heck you need for PT school so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today so I'm gonna stop blabbing and get into the content of today's video sorry if the quality of this is not the greatest it's really rainy and cloudy in Georgia today and this is the only time I have to film this video so if the lighting is a little bit gray and I'm blending into the wall that is why <laughs> So my first physical therapy school essential is kind of self-explanatory. It is a planner. Even if you got through all of high school, all of college without using a planner, you definitely are going to need to get one for PT school because you are just in so many classes. There's so many assignments. There's so many tests. It's just so hard to keep track of everything. So you for sure need to get either a physical planner. That's what I like to use. This one is from the Etsy shop, I think it's called, yeah, Posey Paper Co. I will have it linked down below, and I really like it because it has, like, the monthly spread as well as the weekly spread, so it keeps me super organized, not only with school, but also with, like, workouts and my meals and socializing and all of that good stuff. And a lot of people in my class also use Google Calendar. We have one of those, like, class calendars that everyone is on, everyone can see, everyone can edit, and people will also enter like test dates, things that are due, competencies in there as well. So I recommend that to set up amongst your class if you guys don't have that already. Another absolute essential for physical therapy school is having a good study space. So when I was in college, I never really would use my desk for school. I would use it as like a vanity, like a makeup little area. I would just store stuff on it, but in PT school, like I said, you were in class all day and then you come home from class and have to study. And in college, I would always study at a coffee shop or the library or something like that. But when you're on campus all day, the last thing you're gonna wanna do is go somewhere to study. So it is really important to have a good space at home that you can work at. If you watch my vlogs and are a subscriber of my channel, this next essential is not going to surprise you at all but that is my Apple Pencil and my iPad. I just have the iPad 7th generation and some people have been asking me recently how many gigabytes it is. It is only 32 gigabytes. I didn't feel like I needed a whole ton of storage because literally all I have on there is like a few note taking and school related apps and that is all and I just figured when I run out of storage I can transfer stuff to my laptop to kind of store it there. I have this little grip on my Apple Pencil that I got from Amazon that makes it look like a legit pencil. And some people in my class have like iPad Pros, iPad Airs, like the more expensive um, models, but this iPad that I have, I only paid $330 for. And that is still a lot of money, but compared to like a $1,000 iPad Pro, if you are just using it for school notes, I think the just regular iPad is a great option and if you don't have the means to purchase an iPad I recommend you get a whiteboard a lot of people in my class that don't have iPads have whiteboards and it's the same just kind of like um what's it called where you write it down and that's your learning style I can't think of it right now but I'm someone that likes to like write out my notes on my iPad after I take them in class just to kind of like get it in my brain, especially for something like anatomy, which is more straight memorization. So if you don't have an iPad, definitely get like a little whiteboard or something where you can just write, 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 write. Because that is a big part of PT school is just memorizing like muscles and stuff like that. So definitely recommend either getting an iPad or at least a whiteboard. My next physical therapy school essential is kind of a little bit of a joke, but that is caffeine. I have always loved coffee, but in college I would probably have it like two or three times a week if I was like going to Starbucks or studying at a coffee shop or something like that, but literally I have coffee once or twice a day now just because it is a long day on campus. Most days we're in class almost 7.30 to 5 o'clock. 
and then we come home and have to study for a few hours after that. So I did get, get an espresso for Christmas, so that has been life-changing because I can have amazing, like, um, coffee shop, quality coffee for less expensive of a price and also right here in my house. But for when I am not at home able to make a cup of coffee, I've been really into these verb bars lately, which you would also know if you watched my vlogs. And if you want to try them out, I have a link in my bio to get your first 16 bars for only $12. But they're basically these tiny little bars, and they're only 90 calories, and they have 65 milligrams of caffeine, which is as much caffeine as an espresso. So I love having one of these at lunch just to pick me up and get me through the rest of the day. And they also taste really yummy. Sorry, my dog is trying to say hello to you guys. He gets jealous when I film videos. Teddy, say hi. Teddy, say hi. This is Teddy. He is going to be two in June, and he sees a squirrel outside the window right now. And a lot of you guys have been asking what type of dog he is. He is a toy cockapoo, and I got him when he was 12 weeks old. So he's my little baby. Yes, it is possible to have a dog in PT school. Everyone told me it wasn't. It is. Don't listen to them. <laughs> My next essential is a little badrial and plastic cover to put your school ID in. So we have to wear these in order to get into our building on campus as well as to our clinicals. So you definitely need a little badge guy to clip onto your clothes and protect your ID. So I got this little sunflower one from Amazon. It is really cute and I really like it. Next up, another clinical related item are these teeny little memo notebooks. I got them on Amazon in a pack of 12 for like $12 and they can fit in your scrub pocket really easily and they're perfect to take with you to clinical because I know at my school we'll have like homework and papers and stuff to write after clinical so it's really easy to just whip this out, jot down notes and slide it back in your pocket instead of just trying to remember everything. So. You definitely want to get a little tiny notebook again I'm going to link everything down below my next essential is shoes and I have my Rothy's here I got them for my birthday in November and we have to wear shoes like this for competencies when we have to dress professionally um, obviously professional dress but you can't really wear like ballet flats if you're like transferring a patient like for example yesterday we had our transfer competency where we had to get the patient out of bed, um, transfer them into a wheelchair, fit them in the wheelchair, transfer them back to the bed. And that is a lot of like squatting, lifting, moving around. So you really need kind of like a sneaker dress shoe. And these Rothy's are amazing and so, so comfortable. They are kind of expensive, but they last really long. And I heard that like they'd never look like you have worn them, if that makes sense. Like the material of them just like stays intact really really well a cheaper dupe for the rothy's if you're looking for something a little bit more cheaper is the steve madden slip on sneakers those are what i wore before i got those shoes for my birthday and those are also a great option but definitely a good shoe to wear for like competencies or this semester for clinicals i'm in the hospital so we can just wear running sneakers running shoes but if you are in an outpatient clinic most um places require you to wear shoes that are more like that, so I love my Rothy's. Next essential, of course, is some scrubs. So we have to wear scrubs in Cadaver Lab, which we have twice a week, and also to clinical while we are in the hospital. And all of these scrubs are the Cherokee Workwear brand. And I know some people don't like that brand, but I really do. Um, they're more affordable, they fit really well. Um, when you wash them, they still come out and are good quality. So. I recommend those. I know Walmart also sells scrubs that are pretty cheap, like $15 or $18 for like a top and then you buy the bottom separately, but you're definitely going to need some scrubs. We are nearing the end of the video here, but the last thing that I wanted to talk about is my medical kit, medical kit. and I didn't know if I should include this or not because I feel like most schools give you this stuff, but in case they didn't, I figured that I would talk about it. So I'm going to open up my kit and show you guys what I use the most in here. I have an entire what's in my medical kit, what's in my backpack video from a while ago if you guys want to check that out. But the gate belt is very important. Some people in my class ordered like cute like hot pink or striped gate belts, but 
I just have the classic black one that they gave us with our med kits. We use these all the time in class and also in clinical. Our blood pressure cuffs we also use a lot because yes, PTs take blood pressure and vital signs because you have to know how someone's going to respond to exercise. Stethoscope, a clipboard, an inkletometer, goniometers of course, and there's just a whole bunch of goodies in here, a clipboard, a pulse oximeter, but like I said, your program should give you this more like fancy stuff, but I just thought that would be a fun little thing to add in to this video. So those are all of my physical therapy school essentials, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you in any way at all. And if you enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe down below because I post new videos every Saturday at 11 a.m. And I would love to have you here for my physical therapy school journey. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video next week. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.